Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we'll be going through another service, which is called ELB or Elastic Load Balancing. Let's start and let's understand what are the characteristics of this service. So first of all, ELB or Elastic Load Balancing, this is the service that is responsible to distribute the load across the different EC2 instances that I have. So in order for not one instance to be overloaded, ELB will very simply try to distribute, share the load across different EC2 instances. And I'm going to explain with an example just in the coming slide. So ELB as a service will automatically distribute the traffic coming to improve the application scalability. So I will not have one server overloaded. I'm going to share the load across my servers and then ELB will act as a single point of contact. So all the customers coming from the internet, they don't know about the servers I have internally. They only know about my ELB. So they land on the ELB as a point of contact and the ELB will send or will distribute the traffic to the servers I have in the back end. And also ELB is monitoring the health of the registered targets or of the EC2 instances that I have. Why? In case one EC2 instance, for example, is unhealthy, then ELB or my load balancer will stop sending traffic to this unhealthy EC2 instances. In order to not to have any bad customer experience, you forward to a server and then the server is not responding or the server is down. So before ELB is forwarding any connection to any of the servers, it must or this server must be up and running and healthy. Let's see the next very interesting example. Imagine this is my EC2 instances. And for example, we have three EC2 instances and they are part in an auto scaling group. So in this example, it would be good to combine and to understand how the services are working together. And then I have my ELB. So I have the first user and the first user comes, he connects to the ELB and the ELB will load balance to one of the servers. And then the second user comes, he will land or she will land on the ELB and then the ELB will load balance to another server. And then the third user comes, he will land on the ELB and the ELB will choose a different server. And now let's imagine this case. At that point, my servers are becoming overloaded. So what will happen here? ASG will detect it. So ASG will detect that now I am above the threshold that I configured on my ASG. So ASG is going to create extra instances on the spot. Remember that was the scaling out. And what's very interesting here that auto scaling will go and it will update the ELB to tell the ELB Please pay attention. Now I have added extra two EC2 instances. So please, for the next traffic coming, start to distribute the load on these extra instances. So now when user number four will be coming, now he will be load balanced to server number four. And then when user number five is coming, she will be load balanced also to server number five. And as you can see, ELB, or my elastic load balancing, it acts as a single point of contact. Users coming from the internet, they land on my ELB and ELB responsibility is to distribute the load across multiple EC2 instances. And these EC2 instances are inside an auto scaling group. So auto scaling in case I am above my threshold, then auto scaling will create extra instances and it will update my ELB, please. In your next decision, I have added a couple of servers here. So start to load balance new users on these servers. So I don't have overloaded servers. 
So I hope, I hope the concept is clear and I hope you understood now how ELB is working and also how ELB is working in conjunction with the auto scaling group as well. Thank you so much for attending and see you in the next lesson.